A heat advisory will be in effect through Friday here across the area. We may see this linger into the weekend or possibly part, parts of the area could get into an excessive heat warning. So that's something we will continue to track. I think we're getting used to seeing these colors as it is remaining pretty hot across the region. Remember, a heat advisory means at least two consecutive days of heat index values 105 or higher or the air temperature getting to 103 or higher. We may be getting close to that as we head into the weekend and early next week and borderline excessive heat warning. However, I do think think that we will see our temperatures, at least the humidity and temperature combined, the heat index come down just a little bit as the air mass dries out as we head into next week. But until then, things have been relatively active around here. There are thunderstorms to our northwest and we'll see a couple of thunderstorms through Friday. But our big heat dome that's sitting over Mexico, well, that's going to start moving back our way as we head into next week. And that will allow temperatures to get quite hot. So 96 degrees on Friday with a heat index of 108. 112 is what it'll feel like Saturday. So getting into that excessive heat warning criteria. But then the air mass starts to dry out a bit more. So that means higher temperatures but lower humidity. So 102 for Sunday, 103 Monday, 104 on Tuesday. Heat index values 105 to 110, so likely high-end heat advisory criteria, and then starting to come down as we get into the end of next week just a bit, but still retaining a lot of heat around here. Will we see any more rain chances? Well, a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms are possible through about midday on Friday. And then as we make our way into Friday evening, we may see a couple try to approach from the west. But overall, it does appear that rain chances will be coming down just a little bit. As again, by Friday evening, a couple of thunderstorms trying to approach our western counties, but that doesn't look too strong. Models haven't been handling this too well over the past couple of days, so we'll still keep an eye out for any thunderstorms over the next 24 hours. So tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the middle 70s, and then tomorrow, getting a bit hotter. Highs in the mid to upper 90s for us, and it continues to go up from there as that temperature goes to 100 on Saturday. Maybe an isolated storm threat, but everything really starts to dry out as we head into next week, and it gets quite hot. I'm up temperatures into the 103 to 104 range Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with that heat dome setting right on top of us. But again, the air mass will be a little bit drier as we head into next week. Still, low temperatures will get into the upper 70s. That's it. And we may see a slight cool down as we head toward the next weekend.